Hi all, my name's Ollie, this is Simply Stitching. In today's video we're going to be looking at a new sewing machine that I recently added to my collection. It's possibly the smallest one that I've ever owned and here it is. This is the Dexter sewing machine. It was made in Chicago and to find out more about it follow me into today's video. Now, the Dexter sewing machine is a handheld sewing machine. It was actually designed to be a hemmer and stitcher. It's not designed obviously to replace a full-sized sewing machine. Um, this gadget can only do so much and we'll get into what it can actually do a bit later on in the video. It's a chain stitch machine and um, what that means is if we turn it around to the front if you have a look just here it's got a little hook but it doesn't have a bobbin this particular device works on just one thread now if we take a look at the actual dimensions of the machine I've got my quilting ruler it's oops, it's about four and a half inches um, long it's just under four inches tall at the top of the, the cotton reel holder there and it's just about two inches wide so it's not very big at all. Now these were introduced in the 1950s and they continued to make them through the 1960s. Now I think that this particular one is one of the earlier models from the 1950s mainly due to the style of the the end of the reel holder there. In later models um, like in this picture you'll see that this actually changed into being a turnable knob uh, with turn and stitch written on the inside. Later models have also got an automatic thread cutter which this one hasn't um, so that's why I'm giving it my best guess to say that this one is from the 50s. Having said that it is my best guess I mean it, this could just as easily be from the 60s and this one could be from the 50s. Um, if any of you out there know for definite which way around it actually is let me know in the comments these machines were available by mail order and I found an original advert which is it's on YouTube at the moment I'll put a link in the description box to that for you so you can go and check out what the adverts used to look like. Now being a handheld device there are a few differences between this and a normal full-sized sewing machine. One of the main differences is whereas with a full-sized sewing machine you'd usually think of this as being the front of the machine. On this particular device the front of the machine is here. So you've got the, um, the screw that holds the needle in on the front and the needle here and you can actually see the, the working mechanism underneath. If we turn it back to the side for a moment you'll notice that there isn't really that much to it. It literally works by you just push the top down and then let it go and that forms the stitch. To thread the machine what you have to do is you undo this little screw here and you'll see that it, the other end will disappear as you get further and further away from the cotton reel. This is the, the thread holder out of the machine. On both sides of the cotton reel you'll find these little star shaped metal bits which help with your tension and obviously you've got the thread coming off the reel like that. Now to thread the machine what you need to do is you need to put the, the cotton reel on your cotton reel holder so that the thread comes off in a anti-clockwise direction or counterclockwise. Then what you need to do, whoop, can you see that? Ah there you go, there's a little hole just in the base of where the cotton reel sits. You need to get your thread through that little hole and then put your 
cotton reel and the thread holder back onto the machine and then it's just a case of twisting it or turning it until it tightens up but what I would recommend you do is hold the cotton reel as you're turning this screw back into the machine because otherwise the threads that you've just put through this little hole at the top will actually come back out. Yeah, just don't ask me how many times I did that before I realised that you need to hold the cotton reel. The next thing that you want to do is obviously you want to thread the needle. In most larger sewing machines the needles thread either from um, left to right or front to back. This one is in fact back to front, quite literally. If we take a look at the needle, you can just about see that the flat side of the needle is actually facing this screw here, which is on the front of the machine. Now I've said in a previous video that normally the thread for a sewing machine goes in through the rounded side of the needle and out through the side that's flat and it works exactly the same way in this machine as well which means it literally threads from back to front so it goes through that way. Now this device takes a standard sized needle so I've actually got a class 15 in here which is the same type of needle that most of the sewing machines that I've got takes and it, it works a treat. I'm going to show you how to use it to sew with now. There's no tension adjustment on the Dexter. Um, all you do really is you just keep turning this knob either left or right depending on whether you want the stitches to be slightly tighter or slightly looser. So it's literally lefty loosey righty tighty. I've got a piece of fabric here which I've just finger pressed um, something to, to look like a hem. I'm just going to lay it flat like that. Now normally when you're sewing with a sewing machine you'd start at this end and work down but as I've already said Dexter here is back to front so what you do is you start at this end and work up. So we're just going to put the fabric inside the machine like so. Now the one thing that you do need, to bear, oops, do need to bear in mind with this gadget is there's no feed dogs. So in order to get the fabric to move you have to pull it. So let's start off. Now I do actually find it a little tricky to use. What you do is you hold the fabric, you hold the machine, you make sure that your thread is through your needle and you push it down. Lift it up, move the fabric, push it down, lift it up, move the fabric, try and grab hold of it so you can pull it, which I can't, oh, that's got it, push it down, move the fabric, push it down, and then once you've got into the rhythm you can pick up a little bit of speed. If you want to change the length of your stitches what you have to do is make a stitch and pull the fabric further away there you go like so so you can vary the stitch length and have it as long or as oh, short as you like the one thing that I do find a little bit tricky to do with this machine is actually to stitch in a straight line because obviously if you're pushing this with one hand you're pulling this with the other one it's really easy to go off the straight line as with everything though the more you play with it the better you're going to get at getting it to go in a straight line now in order to cast off with one of these devices obviously because it's a chain stitch there's no lock stitch um, you don't back tack on it because it doesn't go backwards so what we're going to have to do is go off the fabric 
flip your fabric over oops and then give yourself a chain of about two inches like so and then just snip it off and what you do then is you either tie a knot in your ends or just dab a bit of fray check on the end of it and there is the stitching not necessarily the neatest line of stitching that I have ever done it's definitely nowhere near the straightest now the th thing with this being a chain stitch is this is actually the reverse side or the wrong side of the hem the right side of the hem has got the actual chain stitch design on it and you'll notice that at both ends <laughs> is slightly neater than what I managed to do in the middle and you'll see that the the stitch length when I altered how far away I was putting the needle up and down into the fabric it shows up as different stitch lengths on the back if we just take a closer look at how this device is making that chain stitch you see how the hook underneath catches the thread and that's how it makes it stitch. The one thing that you do have to remember is your line of stitches has to come out straight from the machine like that. Dexter here was never really designed to make an entire garment. He literally is just for mending, repairs and doing hems. Um, it has got a few quirky things uh, like <laughs> It's really difficult to sew in a straight line with it when you use it for the first time so that's going to take practice. A lot of people think that there's something wrong with this um, screw here because it actually goes in at an angle, it doesn't go in straight. It holds the needle in but it has to go in ski whiff so don't try straightening that out. It's a device that takes a little bit of hand and eye coordination. You have to be able to push it down and move your fabric and keep it in a straight line all at the same time which can mess with your brain cell just a little bit. The modern equivalent to Dexter would be one of these things. Look at the size difference. Now this one's actually battery operated so um, it's slightly easier to use but you still have that same coordination issue where you have to hold it in a straight line as it stitches. Dexter's only a small handheld sewing machine so you'll find that the cotton reels that you'll be able to fit on him need to be just as small. The mini spools that you can get, I'll put a link in the description box to a set that's on Amazon for you. You're looking at cotton reels that are no bigger than about an inch and a quarter to be able to fit them onto the Dexter machine. Now the link is an Amazon link, I'm an Amazon affiliate, it's not going to cost you anything to check out the link, uh, you only pay for the price of the item. But it does help me out and it supports the channel if you do use the link and I appreciate it so thanks for that. Or alternatively you could just use the link to find out what kind of item it is that you, you should be looking for and then use that information to go and buy it from a brick and mortar store. There is absolutely no obligation at all to use the Amazon links. I hope you liked today's video and I hope you enjoyed meeting Dexter. If you did give it a thumbs up and why not consider subscribing to my channel and checking out some of the other videos that I've um, uploaded using either these links coming up any minute now or use the ones that I've put in the description box below. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used Dexter's sewing machine um, from the 1950s or 60s or maybe you remember one from when you were a kid and your parents maybe bought one. As I said let me know in the comments. Whatever video you go and check out next I hope to see you back here for the next one. In the meantime whatever you're sewing, whatever you're sewing it with, embrace your creativity and have fun. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.